everyone, Sagittarius. I want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring, Sagittarius, I want to say I'm really wishing for you guys and uh, Happy New Year. Saggy, this year is a year of the year, okay? It is a year of, uh, um, uh, it's a year of uh, hair, okay? You're a fire sign. So be aware of this in this year, um, Saggy, so, because you're a fire sign and what happens in transpire when you're vibrating with the energy of hair, you tend to be, you know, the, 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 the vibrational energy of the hair is so heavy. Fire and hair doesn't really work, okay? Fire and hair doesn't really work. So whatever the issues and the situation is um, that is transpired, fire and hair doesn't really work. So be aware of that alrighty um you have fire here and water that is three element that doesn't really go together but you just have to learn to kind of figure out and work out certain things so let's see what is transpiring and happening um to your to you in this life okay so let's see what's coming up for saji in this year um, be aware, Saji, of what is transpiring in your world. Okay. So for the Sagittarians, I see the Wheel of Fortune. It's coming up in January. Whatever the issue and situation is, 2020 is going to be a good year because um, Jupiter, your planetary aspect is in, and this is the, this is Jupiter. Jupiter planetary aspect is in Capricorn and this is going to be helping you Saji in this year so it's not far away from your sign so you have the energy of the wheel of fortune so in January fortune is going to be here okay so whatever the issue and the situation is in January fortune is going to be here you have success in February also this is going to be wonderful and good the wheel of fortune is bringing you success it's going to be absolutely wonderful you Saji you can see that this year is really starting out good for you then I see in the month of March secrets are coming out so whatever that was hidden is going to be coming out Saji so in March you are going to be finding that out so I love your year Saji because you start with two fire sign you start with a wheel of fortune and the sun these are the two best cards that you can get together because it's going to be extreme success that is going to be coming up but it depends who you are and what vibrational energies you're working with and as I always said because my readings are timeless this reading could be vibrating for you next year it depends on who you are and how you're vibrating and if you're in the three fourth or diamond fourth or fifth so go back and look at 2019 reading because that 2019 reading could be affecting you okay because the readings are timeless but this reading could be affecting you over two three years from now all right so in the month and the eye princess comes up for you Sagittarius because it's you know it's you Sagittarius are very lucky and what is happening is that um, the energy of the year is the eye princess and the fool the divine mother and the divine father and what is coming up is that uh, she's coming very early in the year to help you to get through certain difficulties because some secrets or situation is going to come out and she's going to be there for you to get you through this so this is very very positive then we have um balance the um justice coming up uh, in the month of may i see the libra the I see the other signs get this also in the month of May. So be aware of this. Um, whatever the issue is, there is a situation in balance. Things is going to be balanced out. So I see the eye princess comes up um, and that is intuition. So the eye princess comes to give you help in um, April. And then in May, you are going to be balancing out this situation. As we look at the end, um, to a cycle in your life that was uh, deceptive that um, 
you have been dealing with finally 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 the cycle is now broken in the month of June so this is wonderful and fantastic because in the month of June this cycle really is broken so if you were having um, conflicts with others the cycle is going to be ending in June this is good because this is an earth energy so let's recap this quarter because your first quarter is the best and your second quarter is really not looking bad um, it is actually good so what is happening out and transpiring um, there is water energy in month of um, April in May you have air energy which is balancing out the scale and in June you have the hurt so as a fire sign when earth energy is there is much better because it brings you balance but water is healing your emotions in the month of uh, April so the first six months is actually very good um, you have water energies but uh, secrets but the secrets are going to be coming out okay so it actually is the first six months very good then we have a tower energy in the month of July whatever was transpiring um, something come to an end a cyclist come to an end and something is going to be leaving your life so whatever that was and whatever that was transpiring something come to an end and something is going to be leaving your life so you gotta be aware of this what is transpiring the truth is coming out so whatever um, deceptiveness that was plain in the month of August the truth is going to be coming out and whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening I see definitely you're seeing this um, situation happening where the truth is coming out over a situation so there were secrets and lies and it is finally coming out the energy of the year is here so you have both the eye princess and you have both the divine mother and the divine father coming out the Omega you are going to be released and having a new start in the month of September and this is good another air energy this quarter the third quarter is a little bit off okay so be aware of it Sagi, because the third quarter is really a little bit off then we have the energy of the lovers coming up in the fourth quarter oh my god that went fast where in the month of October you could be connecting with someone I see some situation that has to do with family and your partner is coming up if you don't have any partner this is um, uh, your twin flame or soulmate that is coming in in the month of October okay then we have the magician so October um, we have the magician and this is good this is positive because whatever you want to do in November is a yes go ahead and do it so whatever is transpiring in the month of November is a yes go ahead and do it so um, a wonderful alignment of energies that is transpiring then I see in the month of December um, you are going to be so financial to the bill um, financial stability is going to be coming back in your world this is the energy of uh, Jupiter returning in your sign because what is transpiring is that you are going to be filled with abundancy so you start the hair off with a wheel of fortune you end the hair with the Empress and that is just absolutely absolutely beautiful and this is what I was saying to you Sagittarians is that this year 2020 is going to be so fabulous it's going to be extremely fantastic and you can see this energy is already coming up because this is like um one of the best readings that is coming up because you can see that the sagittarians whatever is happening and transpiring i see the energy of the sagittarians is really um coming in and this is beautiful because it is when you are really accepting who you are the third quarter September as of September it gets better but um, July August but September is good September yeah September is good so I see the three quarters so the first quarter the second quarter and the third quarter is going to be very good your best month write these down January February um, I'm not too sure about May 
but definitely June um, new start in July um, um, and then October November and December so that's good and why I said not with the balance in May is because the, it has to do with justice whatever the issue and the situation is it has to do with justice that is one of the, the issues and the situation that is to inspire and it has to do with justice okay so wonderful um, energies so let's see what's coming up for you Sagittarius in the month of January with uh, going in February with the wheel of fortune I see the energy of the world so this is good um, the wheel of fortune is to, is bringing in a new cycle for you and the cycle is going to bring in success for you um, as you come into the year 2020 you are going to see in January coming into February the world is here so twice the world so you have 3 and 21 so this is good for you Saji very very good now I see you dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this person is there's a lot of secret about this person and these secrets are going to be coming out so whatever is transpiring and if there was a legal a situation and legal action whatever is transpiring um, I'm seeing this coming up because I'm seeing you going to be successful over this legal issues and the lies and secrets uh, um, that was kept against you and you are overcoming this so um, whatever is transpiring some of you are really dealing with some deceptive situation that has to do with uh, um, maybe legalities or Aquarian Gemini's or Libra because this person is coming up this can be a lawyer or you could be a lawyer some deceptive situation that has transpired so however that is but the secrets are coming out and so we have the energy of the king of Pentacles whether this person is this is a business person so um, it is as if your intuition is saying hey watch out for this person so I see some of you are going to be having some legal issues to do with a business person or you could be taking someone um, to court because of something that they have done so whatever is transpiring I see you dealing with an issue and your intuition is right about this person so if you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man 45 years and older your intuition is going to be right about a business person a business person or your boss whoever this person is it could be also your father that your intuition maybe your father wasn't saying anything and I said father this could also be your partner so you could be divorcing from your partner it could be the end of your divorce your divorce is final okay so I see May going in June your divorce is going to be final um, if you um, or if you have a business partnership I see you could be partnering up with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man um, and um, the, the the deal is going to be sealed May going in June okay so the energy of the tower is here in the month of July going in August and it's about a new start so July going into August is about a new start but there is something leaving so that you can have this new start so whatever that was there I see this is leaving so that you can have this new start I see money is coming up so August going to September I see a new start to your financial stability this is going to be very very positive because what is transpiring is that something is leaving your life and then something new is replacing it and whatever new that is replacing your life is going to be making you um, very successful and very financial stable and your financial stability is going to be coming back because um, definitely definitely you are seeing um, this situation that something new is definitely coming in um so we have the four of swords so some of you could be having our um, some of you are tired because in October you have a lot of family issues dealing with some of you could be relocating some of you could be leaving the family leaving the house um some of you are really tired where um but it's more as I see you're backing away from the family I see you're closing off 
yourself from the family and backing away from the family because you're like, I need a break from my family or I need a break from my partner or I need a break from people. So I see you're taking a break away from people and situation around you October going in November. And whatever you decide to do, it is the right thing to do. Whatever you decide to do is the right thing to do. Um, sometimes they said love need a holiday. And I think some of you are going to be giving your partner a holiday. I see an offer coming up for you. This is going to be good. So you're ending the year very, very positive because I see an offer coming in for you. And this is an unexpected offers, but you have what it takes. So if you are looking for a higher promotional job, it is a yes. This offer is going to be coming in for you and it is going to bring you a lot of financial stability. I see in the month of uh, November, you could be receiving an offer to go and work as a television personal personality or a presenter, or you could get your own show, television show. This is good. Take it, run with it, because you're going to make a lot of money. You have the energy of the Empress. So, um, yeah, for some of you, it can be in November. And remember, these are, um, these are, these readings are timeless. So it could be next year. But if it's this year, I see someone out there is going to be receiving an offer to do a television series and it's a yes run with it take it because you are going to be very successful i think this was what you were meant um to do i see love is going to be coming in love is really going to be coming in and whatever that is transpiring um and whatever situation that has happened it is a yes go take this because love is love is going to be powerful and i see whoever is going to do television promotion and that sort of a thing it's going to be a yes um sagittarius i'm sorry i started without saying this so my apologies to all the sagittarius who has always ordered from my my channel um because of the changes on youtube i'm on i'm unable to put the readings also on the channel okay because um, everything is on the YouTube now. So my apology for the people who have always ordered and on demand. Um, now you have to, um, um, get, get the on demand via, um, being a member. Okay. Cause YouTube have changed up so much. Um, I'm one of those, um, people who has, um, a high, uh, Tinder and, YouTube has changed it up so I can't put it anymore on my website. Everything has to be in YouTube. So by becoming um, a member and joining, um, this is how uh, you can basically connect with my channel. Okay, so this is good. Um, in order to get the extended of these year reading, you have to um, join my channel and use the super chat so whatever is transparent in order to connect with um with um these extended you have to join the channel because this is the general there is an extended deal and the extended deal is a um more explicit where you can see what is going to be affecting you in these months okay so wonderful alignment of energy is coming up and this is going to be good so let's see what else is coming up for the Sagittarian. Um, Sagittarian, if you uh, you have to take the super uh, super extended because the super extended you get a lot. Plus you can um, get twenty minutes um, four times per month to to connect with me uh, by personal one on one via YouTube, okay, or um, uh, whatever middle you want to connect with me. So. The super, the super extended are like is really good because you receive everything. All right, so let's see what's coming up in January for you, Sagis. So we have multiple opportunities. So the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring you multiple opportunities that is going to um, help you 
to have a new start and this is going to be good so whatever that was transpiring in January multiple opportunities are going to be coming up for you Saji that is going to give you a new start then we see you um, overcoming a situation with a corporation government institutes of organization you're very successful coming out of this situation so whatever it is and was I see you very successful at overcoming this situation that was happening definitely secrets in March whatever is transpiring some of you are going to be finding out the secrets about a lawyer a, lo a legal situation or something with legalities but you're going to be finding out some secrets in March okay and this is going to be God um, as we look at April I see the energy whatever is transpiring in April I see the eye princess and I see um, I is is healing healing so April is going to be a month of healing. Healing a situation that has to do with uh, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. Okay, this could be a businessman who have done some deceptiveness. So I see in the month of April, some healing is coming in. As we look at the month of May, I see emotion met a legal issue. It has to do with... Uh, an ex so it's as if you're dealing with an ex and the house needs to be shared up a balancing whatever the issue is in the situation so you're dealing with an ex and I see some emotional situation that needs to be balanced up between you and your ex-husband or ex-wife I see changes coming up the end of a cycle between you and your partner the end of a cycle between you and your partner some changes are coming up and I see this is better whatever um, is transpiring it is better the cycle is just over and I see changes coming up the tower moment is coming in whatever the situation is I see a tower moment coming in um, the tower moment is coming in um, where there was issue and situation and you're going to be receiving a new start and a long-term stability in your world then i see you coming out of a a phrase um, a, a harbor situation saji you're coming out of a harbor situation in the month of uh, sep um, uh, august so the month of august you could have been having a bad divorce that you were dealing with but you're coming out and you're going to have a new start and you are going to be financial stable then we see the energy of the star whatever that was here and transpiring this you are going to be successfully leaving a situation behind and a new start moving forward so you're going to be successfully leaving a situation behind and having a new start moving forward and this is going to be good okay so the energy of the lovers is here I see the end to deceptiveness so um, a lot of you are dealing with uh, um, uh, the lovers a lot of you uh, the lovers comes up twice in the year it comes up as you divorcing I see divorcing but I see a split for some of you some of you got tired in October and I see a split a definite split in October and this split is is if you are connected with a Libran uh, I see a split between a you and this person definitely so if you're in a relationship with a Libran I see a split between you and this Libran so if there's your partner I see a new contract that is coming in take it take it take it because this new contract that is coming in is a yes um, I see the offer of marriage is coming up in November whatever is happening and transpiring I see the offer of marriage is coming up in November and for some of you this is coming up as a contract some of you is the offer of marriage in November some of you it's coming up as a contract okay and this is good then I see a lot of communication positive um, uh, positive um, feeds is coming in really positive feed is coming in and um, I see love coming up also and a lot of people will be uh, showing you love whatever is transpiring 
I see you Sagittarians uh, a lot of people are going to be really really showing you love I see positive I see people really really connecting with you positive alignment from energy I see people really connecting with you I see new kids are going to be born I see some of you are going to be adopting new kids I see um, the message of love is coming in so your year is the year of the year of friend for you guys it is the year I see message coming in from an organization and I see they're offering you an apologies so whatever is transpiring I see news um, some of you who were planning on adopting a child I see news is uh, um, here um, that the adoption that they have a child so um, this is good so I see news coming up that they have a child so some of you if you are planning on adopting a child I see news coming up okay I see love that is coming out for you guys um, I see that some of you there was a problem um, with um, there was definitely a problem um, with in the hospital that affect your child I see that they are um, they're going to be helping you to resolve and helping you to deal with this situation so um, really um, honestly okay so the animal message wants to come out and it is the firefly it is the air energy the firefly so you have an air energy you are fire but you have an air energy and it is the firefly and what is good is the call upon the firefly to clear your aura okay and your space so um just like you call upon archangel gabriel supervisor of tone element master fire fire salamander and the fire dragons you're going to call upon the firefly to really really clear your energies and this is going to be good okay then I see you have the energy of the bat you have the energy of the bat and this is good this is positive this is really really good so you have the energy of the bat and whatever the issue and the situation is uh, when these energy comes up and what is happening and transpiring you definitely have uh, the energy of the firefly and the bat now good energies um, especially um, because they are air sign and their hair sign and you are fire so what is happening and transpiring and what we're looking at is um, with the energy of the bat this is actually um, you know wonderful it's super super wonderful because the firefly is just so so positive um and a lot of people are not it's the air energy the firefly is so positive it is an air energy so inspired and fantastic yet um fleeting the fleeting contains the light of the thousand star it is pure radiant and illuminated this high frequency changes cannot be sustained for long therefore the fly of fire cards indicate a moment of inspiration and awaken that quick feeds if we do not catch it there is the firefly behind every poem song and intention our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it's grace our present what can you do to support this precious and elevated light? All right, so in balance, right and creative and brainstorm. When out of balance, burnt out and feel dull. To bring back balance, write poems and draw. Okay, so this is going to be good. So let's look at the bat, Bay A T. <laughs> okay, do you know? Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but. So it's um, um, when you were in school, what people would say. Okay, so the back, darkness, let go, debt leading to rebirth. All right, so you Sagittarians was going through a dark period and you're letting go and debt leads to rebirth, okay? 
Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the day hours. The bat is the master of the sustaining of sense, of the unable forces that cause some things to um, propose and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the end of a chapter. So obviously you guys are going through um, some situation and the bat um, shows up to signify at, at the end of a chapter. Okay, and this is good. The closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawn. No more lying in the past. I love this. When in balance, adapt, adjustable. When out of balance, refuse to let go, remain miserable. <laughs> to bring balance, watch the sunrise. Wow, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. I love this. Okay, so let's go and see what is happening. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, that one was over. So, okay, so it's a happy family. Sagis, whatever is happening, this year is going to bring back the family together. So Sagittarians, enjoy it because I see this year is definitely going to be bringing back the family together and that is going to be wonderful and beautiful because some of you were having issues, family issues, and this year it's going to bring the family back together. Share the love. Three of Cups, share the love. Whatever is transpiring, it's all about sharing the love. And this is sharing the love with family, okay? Or people who you consider to be your family. So whatever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring, share the love with family because what is happening is that you are about to, to close a chapter and open a new chapter in your life. The angels that is here to support you guys is Archangel Jovial. It's all about liberation. Liberate yourself, ladies and gentlemen, because this is the year to do it. I love you guys. I got to go. And um, please remember to share these videos. Share, 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 share. And in order to receive your extended reading, you have to use, um, go on my side and join. I think the join button is here or there join my platform and then you're able to access uh, um these um situations okay i love you guys i'm wishing you a powerful new year namaste